I'm not that great. Yeah. <laughs> I had to get a cane. And then I left it in a train station. Oh, darn it. Oh, no. I thought you were yeah. telling me that you were feeling pretty good. I was feeling, actually, after you came back. Yeah. Um, <laughs> It felt a lot better, and I thought yeah. maybe you just worked it out. <laughs> maybe I worked it out, but then I did some something over the weekend, and by Monday I was like, no, I didn't work it out. <laughs> <laughs> it came right back. Yeah. Do you want a sheet or a blanket or anything? Are you? All right, here comes the needle poke. This isn't very fun. It'll sting a little bit as that lidocaine goes in. This is the worst part. So, once you're done with this, smooth it. I, you know, I'm always interested in the stories because uh, I, I feel like a, you know, a compadre. I shot myself before. Did you really? Yeah, I shot myself in the foot, actually, you know. I was, we were just doing some target practicing and I was using a 22 revolver and reloaded it and the hammer slipped out from my thumb and went off and shot a 22 shell into my foot. Did it do damage to your bones? Yeah, it shattered my metatarsal. Wow. Yeah. Don't see camera. People smarter than me. Uh, right? Anyways, that, that's what it sounds like when we're when we're working on it. So. It sounds like a dental tool. So. That's sound like a dental tool. That's what a dental tool is. So I'm just going to test, so uh, <laughs> test the skin here. I need you to tell me if that feels sharp at all to you. Yeah. Can you even feel anything? <laughs> I don't think so. Okay. So, got lots of lidocaine still. If we need to, um, just let me know if you're feeling any pain, and, and we can definitely um, we can definitely inject more lidocaine in if we need to. So. I can feel your hands. Yeah, you'll and you'll feel you'll feel plenty of pressure as we work on this. You'll feel me moving things around and whatnot. But it uh, shouldn't be painful. But anyway, Eric Hyden took the bullet out. Okay. And it turns out it was pushed up against the synovial sac. So oh, yeah, that's good. Was really got it out. Did you get to keep it? How about here? Yeah, Any pain yeah, here? I've had it for a long time, but I'm not sure. What, no, I don't feel it. Okay. I feel, actually, I feel a tiny bit of something. Okay. Some pressure? Well, it feels like it's hard. Okay. I'll put a little bit more numbing medicine there. Don't touch. Right. Okay. Yeah, don't reach. <laughs> yeah, it's easy reaction, huh? You can feel that, yeah. That's all. Painful, but I can feel it. Yeah, a little bit more lidocaine going in, just oh, okay. numbing that up well. Oh, the incision's already done. Yep. Yeah, that was it. It was a tiny incision. Mm-hmm. Okay, just stay on it all of course. Uh-huh. Just afterwards too. Yep. Alright. Rock and roll here a little bit.
How long ago was it that you shot yourself? When I shot myself? Yeah. Oh, long time ago. It was in 2008, I think. Okay. And when did you have it taken out? Same year. Same year. Yeah, it was just a few months later. It mm -hmm. got so I couldn't, I'd get out of the car and I couldn't walk. Yeah. Because it was so painful. Yeah. yeah. And I went to two different doctors, and they both said, "Nah, just leave it. It's not, you know, it's yeah, not too much." Like yeah. uh, yeah. When he gave me the bullet, it had a the back of it was flattened down, or it had been rubbing against the tendon. Uh, yeah. Is that thing the thing you're breaking up? What's that? Is that like ball thing the thing you're breaking up? That's the the ball thing is the actual tendon. So I'm just oh, you're making sure up. we're covering, yeah, all of it. And then up, down, side to side. Interesting. Feeling reasonably well? Yeah, I'm fine. No, it's not even Exactly. <laughs> I just did a really good job anesthetizing. <laughs> Tendinopathy in general, like just tendon damage, is really common. I do, do this quite a bit. Um, Achilles is, you know, decently common. Yeah, probably one of the more common ones we do. Yeah. I think we, I think it's more common for us to do this on it because it tends to be one that, you know, other conservative treatments sometimes don't work as well for. So there's other other tendinopathies that are less resilient to treatments, so. And I think, was it Dr. Richards in Dalton? Mm hmm I think he took gave him like five options. Yeah. <laughs> this one sounded like the most effective. Or at least over a shorter period of time. Yeah, if you just want to get, get, get it, yeah, 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 definitely. So how long were you in Japan for? A few weeks? Three weeks. Three weeks. That's a good amount of time for traveling all the way over there. <laughs> yeah. We've usually gone like two weeks before. Okay. I don't think we've done two weeks before. So we yeah, it gives you more time. Yeah, just a second. Yes, yeah, and recover <laughs> a little recover. from the trip. <laughs> yeah, my wife got pretty exhausted. Yeah. One day we got, we did a lot one day, and then we got into the train station and tried to find our way out to the hotel, and we got lost. No. Oh. It took us an hour to get out yeah, of the train it's, station. Yeah, it's amazing when you go. And we ended up in a in an area hotel. Which, I mean, it was just a crap place we found. And my wife sat down and she's like, "I can't go anymore." Get a taxi. Yeah. But I couldn't find the taxi, so, <laughs> so we finally walked. We had another, I don't know, half mile or so back to our hotel. Yeah. So that's it. We're all done. What's that? That's crazy. What's that? It's my crazy how clean the, the the tool is. Yeah. It's like a little bloody on the tip. Or at the the back of it, I mean. Yeah. Pretty cool. So it just vibrates. Yeah. So we're actually in and out in about twenty thousand cycles a second. That's crazy. What's the route to get over there? Do you go through LAX? Or